afternoon. In recent years, corporate social responsibility has drawn people's attention and become a hot topic. Besides a company's financial performance, people nowadays also concern about their corporate social responsibility activities. Today, we are going to discuss the environmental activities done by the theme parks in Hong Kong, including the Hong Kong Ocean Park, the Hong Kong Disneyland. According to our research, these theme parks are participating in a number of activities concerning the environment. To generalize, we can split them into two categories. The first one is educating people about protecting the environment, and the second one is minimizing the wastage and energy consumption during their operation. Earlier, our reporter Joanna was in interviewing some pictures of the theme parks. Let's see what she has got there. Now we are at Hong Kong Disneyland, and we are glad to have uh, Ms. Yun um, to uh, have our interview. Hello, Ms. Yun. Hello. Uh, I would like to ask, is this your first time to visit Hong Kong Disneyland? No, because I have an annual entry pass, so I visit Disneyland like once a month. Um, so, uh, what attracts you uh, the most in Hong Kong Disneyland? The fantasy ambience in the park mm -hmm. and their entertainment performance attract me a lot. The entertainment performance? Right. Nice. So, uh, which entertainment performance you like the most? Um, I would say the fireworks at the Bo Sleeping Beauty Castle mm -hmm. attracts me a lot and the parade. Oh, yes. So, do you know uh, any other uh, environmental impact brought by this kind of performance? Oh, I've never think about this, but maybe the air pollution brought by the fireworks. Mm. Okay, so do you think of any other example uh, which is uh, damaging the uh, environment in terms of uh, how much is mm. I would say the waste caused by the decoration during mm. festivals, like Christmas and Halloween because they have a lot of decorations in the mm. park and the food waste generated by the buffet hotels. Mm. Um, do you notice that uh, Hong Kong Disneyland is doing something to protect the environment? Mm, I have no idea. Mm. But in contrast, I read news about them cutting trees down ah, when yeah. they expand the park. Okay, so up till now, uh, do you think you will continuously visit Hong Kong Disneyland? Yes, I think I will keep visiting because mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Disney mm -hmm. but I hope them, I hope they can do more to protect the environment in the future. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Thank you for your time. I hope You're you welcome. enjoy your stay in the Hong Kong Disneyland. Thank you. Thank you. And now we are in Ocean Park and we are glad to have uh, Mrs. Smith from Canada to have our interview. Hello, Mrs. Smith. Hi. I would like to ask, is this your first time to visit Hong Kong Ocean Park? Oh yeah, uh, this is also my first time visiting Hong Kong also. Ah, I see. So what attracts you so much in Ocean Park? Mm, I think I like the rice very much and also the aquarium. Mm. They are very good for family time. Mm. Okay, so um, which entertainment performance you like the most? Um, ah, I like the dolphin show very much. Mm, I see. Do you know the mental impact brought by this entertainment performance? Um, maybe when they are trained, it mm -hmm. will uh, affect their living style and also the habitat. Ah, I see. Okay, can you think of the environmental issue brought by uh, Ocean Park? Um, I think Ocean Park is very dedicated to uh, mm -hmm. teach the people to conserve the environment and also mm -hmm. to protect the animals mm -hmm. because they have so many use the animal museum there. Oh, okay. Then do you know anything about the environmental protection activities done by Ocean Park? Um, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Ocean Park is setting up uh, donation points at every aquarium and also animal exhibition. Uh, for the uh, visitors who like to uh, make some donation for the uh, environmental protection or also uh, care for the animal. Have you noticed that? Uh, I think I can see them at the exits mm -hmm. of the aquarium and also the animal museum, mm -hmm. but I can only see the octopus donation farm, mm -hmm. but not the cash donation box. I think if 
uh, they really want people to make donations, especially for foreign visitors. They should also set up the cash donation box so that we can also make some contribution to the environment. Uh, I see. That would be a very good suggestion. So, um, in terms of um, making a sustainable tourism or being environmentally friendly, um, to what extent do you think uh, Ocean Park is doing a good job? Well, uh, one is uh, strongly disagree and five is strongly agree. I think four. Okay, thank you. And after all, uh, will you think uh, or will you consider to visit Ocean Park again? Yeah, sure. I like Ocean Park very much. So, uh, by the way, do you know Ocean Park is going to build a hotel? Uh, I don't know that. Mm -hmm. But uh, if they are really building the hotels, I think uh, it may damage some environment. For example, cutting the trees and yeah. also the pollution problem brought by that. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you for your inf uh, information. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy your stay in Hong Kong. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. From the interviews, we can see that most of the visitors, both tourists and locals, are not aware of the environmental CSR activities done by the theme parks. Which proves that the theme parks is not doing enough to arrest people's attention on their environmental activities. To gain support from this argument, we have also a spokesperson from Greenpeace. First, let me talk about Hong Kong Disneyland. According to a report conducted by Hong Kong Disneyland regarding trial virus display and associated air quality and noise monitoring, these noise measurements were conducted at Peng Chau, Tai Lai and Cherry Court. Discovery Bay were influenced by significant noise throughout the trial. In order to address this problem, Hong Kong Disneyland should reduce the frequencies of fireworks show, say like every weekend and public holidays, hoping that this measure helps to lower the overall noise impact to the surrounding environment. It is suggested that Hong Kong Disneyland should improve the energy management with reference to the practices of Disney World near Orlando. The energy management program is called Environmental Protection Agency, which enhances the energy efficiency in different perspectives. For example, optimizing compressed air system controls, upgrading hot water boiler controls, as well as energy efficient lighting, so that the overall energy consumption will be reduced. Especially, Hong Kong Disneyland should imply the Energy Star tool bag as well, which is a guide to help employees to prevent energy waste. For instance, it helps to reduce the energy consumption of heating, ventilating and air conditioning by reminding users to switch off the machines or adjust the temperature according to the real situation. It is estimated that this contributes to save so much energy in the long run because the temperature in Hong Kong is relatively high. The electricity consumption by air conditioning is one of the critical issues of energy management. Let me move on to Hong Kong Ocean Park. It is commonly known that Hong Kong Ocean Park is actively expanding and developing new facilities such as water park and a new hotel. It is estimated that there will be certain environmental impacts once the facilities are ready for use. For instance, the water consumption will be greatly increased because of the water park. Thereby, I recommend Hong Kong Ocean Park to create a plan for water treatment in order to facilitate reusing water. To conclude, the theme parks in Hong Kong have carried out their corporate social responsibility in the environmental aspect through their environmental activities. However, it is believed that they could have done a better job. Hoping in the future, those theme parks can develop a more comprehensive strategy on their environmental activities. That's much for today. Thank you for watching.